My name is Jake Moss and Kemper, agronomy lead with Liquid Grow. So today we're going to finish up our video series discussing manufacturing liquid suspension fertilizers and what agronomic advantages that they can offer. In the first video discussing manufacturing fluid fertilizers, we talked about making our base K product, our, which is 31030RL032. In the second video, we talked about making ammonium polyphosphate, which is our base phosphorus or P product. In both of those videos, I referenced the importance of keeping these products in the fluid form so we could achieve uniform application because they can be pumped, metered, and applied extremely accurately. Now let's look at the alternative of not being able to apply uniformly. So this is an Iowa State study. In the Iowa State study, the ag engineers, they calibrated this machine to apply on a 60 foot swath width, this dry fertilizer spreader. But you can see in the center of the machine, the rate was lower than the calibrated rate, which can cause yield reductions due to non-uniform application. This is another study by Ohio State. And one thing that we know is when rates increase or swath, swath width increases, we get a continued depreciation or, or incidence of poorer application. So in this case, they used, they calibrated this machine for a 100 foot swath. The, 50, the middle 50 feet of this machine, they were actually applying 40 fewer pounds of phosphorus nutrients or plant nutrients per acre than what the machine was calibrated to apply. Here's another example of a university study. In this study, they were looking at what are the effects of hills or slopes on dry fertilizer application. And as what they very clearly found is on the downward gradient or the down slope side of the pass, there was much higher rates applied than on the upslope side of the pass. So another example of when poor dry fertilizer application can lead to yield reductions. And just to, and, and when yield reductions happen is when we have soils that are responsive to P or K or sulfur or nitrogen nutrients even, for example. This is an example of a field that has soil test P values where we would expect a good fertilizer response. And in this case, we would expect uniform applications to increased yields. Other instances when you have the entire field that's low in potassium nutrients, for example, which is pretty common, we would expect higher yields due to uniform application. This spring, there were several service calls that I went on looking at streaking fields, yellow streaks and fields. And those streaks we determined were due to sulfur fertilization with dry spinner spreaders. So this spring, it brought it home how it's a real world example of visual effects and yield reductions due to non-uniform application. So next week, we're gonna, in our final video series on liquid suspension fertilizers, we're gonna discuss why co-application, landing, and concentrating these various fluid fertilizers together can cause positive intera chemical interactions with the soil that can increase crop yield. See you next week. Stay in the know with LiquidGrow.